our mother lived on the trap line. That was her life. And she stayed there summer and winter. Mm -hmm. Like she came in, got groceries, somebody took her back and on and on, you know, but she, that was her life at the trap line. And sometimes there wasn't nobody there to stay with her. So this one time, Scott, my nephew, stayed with her. He was about nine, ten years old. And Racine has a rocky shore. And she fell on the rocks and broke her leg, like right here. And she laid in there for two days before help came and they took her to Tagish and then from there they took her to Whiters and then they had to, they had to put her in traction and all kinds of stuff before they could put cast on her leg. So after that, my brothers and myself got together and we said we have to move her closer to town because she didn't like living in Carcross. So she wanted to build a cabin down, down at the BC border. So my brother came over from Alaska and he said, we, this is where mom wants to build, we'll build her a house. So we all got together and collected money and got Joe Schinkel to build that cabin down there. And she lived there right up until she was about 90 in her early 90s, before she, we moved her into Carcross here because we didn't want her living there in the mm -hmm. winter time by herself or anything, eh? And she died in 1998, and she was 99 years old. My life is all, all over the place. I lived, I was born in Conrad, and I lived on the trap line, and then and I went to the Baptist Mission School in, in Whitehorse for about nine years. And then I came out of there, and I went to work in Bennett for three years as a, a float, which means I did everything from help with cooking, to cleaning, to setting tables, to peeling vegetables, and everything there. And the place was run by Chinese people. The head cook was a Chinese guy. And that's where I started into cooking Chinese. It's from him I learned lots of my Chinese cooking. Mm -hmm. 